Good morning dear students I am Ms Vandana Pai in today's lecture of the subject entrepreneurship development we will be studying obstacles in entrepreneurial growth so whenever we consider entrepreneurial growth okay or what promotes entrepreneurship into our country okay see there are many reasons through which or there are many factors through which entrepreneurship can be strengthened see in the last lectures we have studied the factors which stimulate entrepreneurship in which we have classified uh, the factors stimulating entrepreneurship into two parts first one was individual factors and other one was environmental factors or individual factors can also be named as internal factors and the other part environmental related factors or Uh, it can be called as external factors okay so uh, some of the factors they are within our control they are within our organization or they are within us which we can easily control and it can it can stimulate or strengthen entrepreneurship okay while some of the factors they are uncontrollable okay for example some of the social issues some of the cultural issues some of the political issues is it or some of the policies okay some of the policies related to business is it okay whenever we consider this type of policies and this type of factors they do promote or they do uh, stimulate entrepreneurship but what we are going to study in today's lecture is the obstacles in entrepreneurial growth obstacles means all those barriers those uh, things which pull us back is it means a uh, individual an individual whenever he thinks that he should become an entrepreneur or he should choose entrepreneurship as the career at this time okay at this time what he should be doing yes what he should be doing or uh, many of the time what happens okay there are certain um, things or there are certain hurdles certain barriers which usually pose challenge before him and at this time he is not able to sort out of this obstacles and what happens is yes it gets converted into threats okay threats converted uh, gets converted into weaknesses and surely it results into failure of your entrepreneurship career okay so um whenever we consider obstacles what are obstacles obstacles means all those barriers all those hurdles which a person faces when he chooses entrepreneurship as his career okay getting it so uh, whenever we consider obstacles or barriers in entrepreneurial growth it can be classified into two parts first is economic factors and second one is non economic factors okay see um at the initial stage or whenever your business exist for a long period of time if repeatedly you, uh, your business faces challenges and if you are not keen to face the challenge if you are not able to see the opportunity into the challenges surely what happens yes if you can't convert that challenge into opportunity and opportunity into strength of your organization surely your organization's growth will be affected okay or your organization growth will be badly affected okay so if you think that continuously you should be facing growth okay continuously your enterprise should be okay uh, reaching at a Uh, okay uh, should be accomplishing its goals targets is it and constantly it should progress then what you should be doing is what is inevitable into this yes you should always be able to convert challenge into opportunity but there are certain reasons through which you uh, your business might face certain obstacles barriers or there are certain things which deprive distress your business okay let's see what are the factors yes as i have readily said that okay 
द ऑब्सटैकल्स कैन बी क्लासीफाइड इन टू टू पार्ट्स फर्स्ट पार्ट इज इकोनॉमिक फैक्टर्स एंड द अदर पार्ट इज नॉन इकोनॉमिक फैक्टर्स सी इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल बी गोइंग थ्रू इकोनॉमिक फैक्टर्स एंड इन टूमोज लेक्चर वी विल बी गोइंग थ्रू नॉन इकोनॉमिक फैक्टर्स ओके सो वेन एवर ओके वी आर कंडक्टिंग द लेक्चर्स रिलेटेड टू इंटरप्रीनियरशिप डेवलपमेंट सी यू माइट बी हैविंग नोटबुक राइट ओके यू माइट बी हैविंग नोटबुक फॉर इंटरप्रीनियरशिप डेवलपमेंट वॉट यू डू इज येस यू नोट डन ऑल दी पॉइंट्स एज वेल एज द एक्सप्लेनेशन इट विल बी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू टू हैव नोट्स ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट एंटरप्रीनियरशिप डेवलपमेंट ओके सो सी economic factors what are the economic factors first factor is shortage of capital yes what is capital yes we have gone through this term since 11th standard itself right okay capital means in simpler form capital means any fund whichever you invest into your organization so that your organization functions in good manner right anything which you bring into your organization that can be called as capital okay now whenever we consider capital okay see whenever you are at initial stage whenever you are at initial stage okay what might be your form of business maybe you might have started a sole proprietorship or you might be a company okay any form of the business any structure of the business okay what you need is what is inevitable to uh, incept a business that is capital right capital means the funds is it the funds which you require to initiate the business to run the business in a successful manner now whenever we consider uh, capital yes uh, if you are a uh, okay if you are going to start a sole proprietorship or if you are an individual entrepreneur okay see what is the source of capital for you yes it might be your savings it might be borrowings from your friends family or some of the institute okay now see you are at the initial stage you know nothing right you are uh, knowing nothing or you are at the position where you are just initiating just you are starting okay you uh, you know that the future is uncertain right uh, and Uh, you can't forecast at that time though you have confidence though you have skills though you have capability but still the future is uncertain in this situation in this mindset what you are doing yes uh, you will be searching for the source of funds okay source of capital okay first what you will do yes you will see how much saving do you have is it then you will try to borrow from your friends family and all yes your friends and family they will readily give you uh, the funds okay or they can reject you uh, they can reject uh, payment of such type of uh, financial assistance or they might say that or they might show you the track of some financial institute okay or they might uh, ask you to visit some of the financial institute so at the initial stage the financial institute also okay uh, checking the security whichever you will be giving checking the so called um that you need security right whenever you are asking for the financial assistance you need security okay checking the so called value of the security and all those things then only they will provide you capital so at the initial stage the first and foremost problem or obstacle which the businesses or the enterprises they do face is shortage of capital because no one is ready to provide you capital or uh, the people they are ready to provide you capital but it is quite less okay it is quite less and uh, considering your dreams related to the organization or the plans related to that enterprise okay the capital always falls short okay getting it so shortage of capital is uh, one of the reason okay which can be obstacle in entrepreneurial growth because as we all know if you don't have capital then you can't initiate your business or if you have less capital then all those things for which you have planned your dreams they will be incomplete is it 
ओके देन इट इज लैक ऑफ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चरल फैसिलिटीज ओके इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चरल फैसिलिटीज वॉट आर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चरल फै फैसिलिटीज येस सी वेन एवर वी कंसिडर द फैक्टर्स ऑफ प्रोडक्शन ओके फर्स्ट फैक्टर ऑफ प्रोडक्शन इट सेल्फ इज लैंड राइट ओके लैंड लेबर कैपिटल एंड ट्रपरी ओके दीज आर द फोर फैक्टर्स ऑफ प्रोडक्शन राइट विच आर नीडेड टू रन द बिजनेस सक्सेसफुली राइट ओके सो द फर्स्ट फैक्टर ऑफ प्रोडक्शन दैट इज द लैंड वेन एवर वी कंसिडर लैंड ओके और द प्लांट लोकेशन राइट ओके वेन एव वेर एवर यू विल बी इनिशिएटिंग युअर बिजनेस और द लोकेशन ऑफ युअर बिजनेस राइट ओके ना ओनली परचेसिंग द लैंड और ओनली सिलेक्टिंग द लैंड इज नॉट यूजफुल इज इट इट विल नॉट फेच द पर्पज फॉर विच यू आर इनिशिएटिंग द बिजनेस येस यू नीड टू हैव बिल्डिंग ऑन इट is it you need to have some building or it might be some of the is it um is it where you will be conducting your business okay for example the grocery shop okay where it should be yes grocery shop can you establish a grocery shop on a highway no you can't do it because okay whenever we will be establishing a grocery shop in, on the highway is it no one will purchase our goods right or no one will wait there or no one will um, is it come there so whenever we uh, consider a grocery shop where should it where it should be located yes it should be located in some village or in a central place where yes more and more um, customers they will approach your shop is it so considering the location and all those things you should be able to build the infrastructure infrastructure means all those things for example the building is it uh, maybe the furniture which you require right okay for example grocery shop in grocery shop you do have furniture right okay you can store the goods um, on the ground and all right you you need to first initiate the furniture and all those things right uh, for example to keep the different products in different compartments you do uh, need to establish a cupboard type something is it where you can store uh, all the goods comfortably and it will be easier for you whenever the customer approaches your grocery shop it will be easier for you to just pick it and give it right so in such a way uh, you should be developing the infrastructure so and the initial stage if you don't have funds and all is it see first point itself we have gone through is shortage of capital right okay at the initial stage you lack funds okay you have shortage of funds or inadequate capital okay if you have inadequate capital yes you can't even afford for good infrastructure right you can't even develop or the interior of your business as well as other things right okay you can't afford for a good place right okay you can't afford for a big place is it so uh, at initial stage you need to do adjustments right and if you are poor with the infrastructure facilities then this can be also an lacuna this can also be a limitation or obstacle into the growth of entrepreneur okay if you lack the infrastructure if you lack the facilities okay uh, including the transportation and communication also okay then surely you will yes or um, you will fall back it will be quite harming or hurting your business right okay then non availability of raw materials non availability of raw materials okay raw materials yes the inputs which you need to incorporate or initiate your business right okay now whenever we consider raw materials why they are needed why you need inputs yes if you want to initiate the production activity if you think that your product idea should be okay converted into actual production okay then you need inputs or raw materials is it okay now the raw materials who provides you raw materials yes the suppliers of raw materials they do provide you with the raw materials right okay from where do you get inputs from the supplier of raw materials or creditors of raw materials okay they do supply you they do provide you with the raw materials okay why we need raw materials yes unless until there are inputs we can't produce output right so considering all these things considering all these things yes whenever we want to start the production activity what we need to do is we need to approach 
yes we need to approach the supplier of raw material okay after approaching the supplier of raw material what we need to do yes we need to establish a contract contract between you and that supplier of raw material what is that contract all about yes uh, for so and so period you will be providing me the raw material this type of contract you will be establishing and for that okay in the future whenever i will be getting the uh, suitable amount of reward or profit i will be paying your dues okay such type of contract it does exist between you and your uh, supplier of raw material okay but you are at the initial stage okay the suppliers in your location they might have tie up with other large scale companies or other companies or other enterprises okay and you are new you are at the initial stage and that too you want the raw materials on credit basis okay who will provide you such type of raw materials is it so at the initial stage what the entrepreneurs they do face is lack or non availability of raw materials okay the suppliers of uh, raw materials into your location they might have uh, established a contract with other companies or other enterprises okay they will not break that contract for giving you or providing you with the raw materials so at the initial stage this can be one of the reason or this can be one of the problem or limitation okay then labor shortage labor shortage see though um, we live in a high highly populated country still still okay um, whenever it comes to labor okay see the second factor of production whichever you need to initiate the production activity is labor okay unless until the laborers work they do work into the factories or they do work into your organization yes your production activity will not be completed okay so whenever we consider the laborers whenever we consider the laborers at the time yes uh whenever we consider the laborers at this time what happens okay see the laborers uh they first check how much wages or how much return or reward you will be paying to them okay see you are at the initial stage you can't um, is it you can't afford for good amount of wage right okay at the initial stage you might not be able to give um, the wages as per their expectations okay so if you are not giving them adequate wages why they will like to work with you right they will search for other option they will switch over is it this can happen so at the initial stage usually uh, the f- uh, one of the problem which the organizations or the company they do face is first thing yes labor shortage is it labor shortage means okay the availability of labor is um, not adequate or you might get few laborers to work with you or you might even get laborers who are unskilled or semi skilled okay getting it then it is defective tax structure defective tax structure what is defective stru- tax structure all about yes uh, we know um, to right from the incorporation of the business till you uh, become successful is it till you sell your goods and uh, till you dispatch your distribute your goods and services whichever uh, you pro- produce or manufacture through your organization okay what is inevitable that is tax okay each in each step you are required to pay tax in each transaction you are required to pay tax is it okay so if the tax structure is not proper if the tax structure is not proper repeatedly if uh, you are required to pay the taxes what will happen yes as at the initial stage you don't have adequate funds and still you are paying yes you are paying tax okay and at the initial stage you have inadequate funds what will happen it will be quite overburden on you 
that's it it will be quite over burden or you will be overloaded through this that's it so what you are required to do yes if it is not affordable to you then surely what you can do is just you shut down your organization or you shut down your enterprise this can happen so um whenever we consider entrepreneurial growth okay this is one of the obstacle which you face okay then it is lack of technology lack of technology yes okay if you have if you are um having modern technology into your organization surely you can place your um distinctiveness or you can mark your distinctiveness into the market is it or it can be quite uh, be proving a competitive edge before others is it or you can even enjoy competitive advantage over other competitors right okay now whenever we consider technology is it why technology is needed see if you if you have adequate capital intensive technique then surely uh, the products which you whichever you produce through your organization or the products which you manufacture through your organization those products they will be zero defective or they will be error free okay whenever we consider our organization okay if we adopt capital intensive technique whenever we compare capital intensive technique with the labor intensive technique okay which is superior yes always it is capital intensive technique why because okay whenever it comes to production or production activity okay at the time okay if you command the machineries okay they will always produce something which is zero defective or error free is it and if you provide superior quality of product zero defective product uh, uh, is it and place such type of product in the market surely it will mark it its distinctiveness from others is it so uh, first and foremost thing what you should be doing is yes you should switch over to capital intensive technique but okay once again we might be at the initial stage we might not having the enough funds is it even the financial institutes they might uh, not be ready to uh, readily provide you with the finance or funds okay at this time at this time yes you can't even afford the modern technology because considering the cost or the price of such type of technology or hiring such type of technology even maintenance of such technology might be quite costly okay and at initial stage it might it uh, you might uh, might not uh, afford it okay this can happen so uh, due to lack of technology yes your product will be so so or it might be having moderate quality and already uh, there might be many competitors who might be prevailing into your product line okay who might be successful into your product line then okay if you don't have distinctiveness into your product why the customer will prefer your product okay so all of your efforts they will go waste if you don't have adequate technology so this can be one of the obstacle into entrepreneurial growth okay then indifferent attitude of bankers indifferent attitude of the bankers is it bankers means the financial institutes okay their indifferent behavior indifferent behavior means the behavior might be subjective okay see for example okay two of the people if there are two entrepreneurs okay and they are in need of loan or financial assistance both of them approach xyz bank or xyz financial institute okay what they did yes uh, two persons for example a and b these two people are entrepreneurs okay they are in need of some financial assistance okay and they approached xyz bank okay now a person or a entrepreneur he was quite successful entrepreneur okay and he was in uh, okay he he had planned to expand his business so for that he needs uh, financial assistance okay he has quite a good reputation in the location where the bank was situated okay now b 
B is a person, uh, B is an entrepreneur who is a new entrepreneur who has just initiated his business or he is about to initiate his business and his reputation whenever he uh, thinks about his reputation uh, he has to prove evidence of his respectability means he has to prove his existence such type of person he is a quite a common person okay who has just uh, just selected this entrepreneurship as a career now whenever this two a and b entrepreneur they approach xyz bank who will easily get the financial assistance tell me who will get the financial assistance yes a why because he has quite a good uh, respectability or he has good reputation in the market okay his uh, business whenever we consider his business or profitability profitability of his business or soundness of the business it is quite good okay but whenever we compare it with a b entrepreneur yes b a b entrepreneur is at initial stage so the financial institutes might reject his financial proposal or his uh, uh, demand for financial assistance okay so whenever we consider such type of cases okay it might not happen every time but most of the time this might be the situation okay so whenever we consider such type of um, uh, institutes such type of financial institutes who are not ready to finance the new entrepreneurs surely what will happen if the financial assistance is not provided at adequate rate okay for example the b entrepreneur he was need uh, he was in need of 1 lakh rupees but the, but the um, financial institute or the banker or the bank they provided him with 10000 okay what he can do yes what he can do yes he will not be able to uh, flourish his business as per his expectation or he might not be able to um, reach at the level for which he has planned for right okay so uh, these are some of the economic factors which prove to be an obstacle in entrepreneurial growth so with this we conclude today's lecture thank you